Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss JavaScript identifiers. What is an identifier? Identifier is a sequence of characters which help us to identify specific part of a program. Identifiers are names given to the program elements by the programmer, that is user defined names name of a variable, name of a constant, name of an array, name of a function, name of an object etc are examples for identifiers. Here I have listed some naming conventions. Naming conventions are the rules for writing identifier names. Here I have listed seven naming conventions. You have to follow these naming conventions while writing an identifier name. First one is identifiers should be meaningful. Do not write S, P, W like that. Use some proper meaningful names like price. Price indicates some product price. Score, it indicates a player score. Screen width indicates the width of the game screen, right? Simply do not use characters for naming variables or constants or functions. They are not more meaningful. Keywords should never be used as identifiers. Like here I have written continue. It's an invalid identifier name friends. Continue is a keyword. You should not use keywords as identifiers. The first character can be an alphabet. It may be an uppercase or lowercase alphabet. No problem. You can use underscore as a first character. You can use dollar sign as a first character. First character should not be a number. You can see that ninth player is an invalid identifier. Okay. All succeeding characters can be alphabets, digits or underscores. After the first character, the next characters can be alphabets or underscore or digits. No problem. No special characters are allowed except an underscore or dollar. While naming an identifier, you can use dollar and underscore. No other special characters are allowed. Like you cannot use less than, greater than, percentage, caret sign, ampersand sign, colon. No, not allowed. More than one successive underscores or dollars should not be used. You can see here I have written two successive underscores, two successive dollars should not be used. Identifiers are case sensitive. You can see here I have written num num. They have the same name, but still the JavaScript treats both of them as a separate identifiers, completely different identifiers because here the first character is in uppercase. It treats uppercase and lowercase letters completely different. So identifiers are case sensitive friends. I hope you guys have clearly understood what is an identifier, what are the naming conventions you have to follow while forming an identifier name. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we discuss more on JavaScript concepts. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.